Hello everyone, my name is Hugo and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do the book haul of the past three months. So every basically everything I bought during lockdown. Um, so April, May and June and a little bit of March too as well. Even though it's a three month book haul, it's I think it's still quite a lot. It's literally so much that I couldn't put them out of frame so you probably see a um, see a bit here and my legs are pointed that way because there are books in the way uh, I haven't counted them but I estimate it's like 80 maybe a bit more um, it's probably in the title after I count them um, now I mentioned once in my video as well I think that I buy most of my books used but since uh, it was a lockdown yeah all the used bookstores were closed so this time I bought a couple of new ones as well. What I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna show you all the used ones, get through them rather quickly, not get too deep into them. Uh, and then at the end I'll show you the new ones, just because uh, the new ones are uh, most of the time higher on my TBR list because yeah, otherwise I wouldn't buy them. While used books are just something I come across in the store and I think yeah, okay, maybe I like this. Um, probably a lot of books you, you've never heard of or something like that, but I just buy them because they seem interesting or something. Um, sometimes I buy a book, I read it once and I donate it again. Uh, something else I have to say... Oh yeah, um, my shelves may seem a little empty, well mostly these are. Uh, that's because I also did a giant unhaul actually because a lot of my books are in Dutch, but I rarely read in Dutch, I don't like it. I rather read in English. So sometimes I, I find a book on my shelf that I, uh, that I want to read. And then I just think like, mm, it's in Dutch. And then I find myself sometimes buying it brand new in English, just because I want to read it in English. So I figured might as well get rid of a lot of books that I'm probably never going to read anyway. Um, I still have them, but they're just in boxes now. And I think, oh yeah, um, something about a bookstore that I go to a lot. It's like this used bookstore. Well, not really a bookstore, just a thrift store basically. But it sells stuff per kilo. So and for books, it's fifty cents per kilo gram books. Yeah, that's cheap. Like, I'm not good at estimating, but. Like that's maybe a kilo, so that's 50 cents for all these, basically. Uh, so a lot of a lot of them are from there. Uh, a lot of them are from normal thrift stores where they're like one or two euros per book. Uh, some of them I bought on an eBay-like web website here. And then a bunch of them are new. Um, but I will show them at the end, as I said. Well, I think without further ado, I'll get to the actual book haul because the video is going to be long enough anyway so yeah let's get to it so first i have the chronicles of narnia it's in seven small parts um i never read it i also don't know if they're like full books because they're really small i uh, actually i don't know they're like with drawings in them and i paid them 50 cents per per book so I think that was a pretty good find and I'm excited to begin this because I said it a few times in my other videos I really want to get into fantasy and I think this might be a good one <sighs> next one James Patterson the jester just a, a thriller and I've heard of Patterson a lot never read him but yeah it's like this weighs nothing, so it was like maybe 10 cents at, at max. Another Patterson, uh, together with Andrew Gross of Cross, Cross, Gross, Gross, uh, Lifeguards. Another thriller about a lifeguard, I think. Next one, we have a Michael Crichton book or novella, uh, Five Patients. If you don't know, Michael Crichton was actually a real-life doctor. He also created the TV show ER, which is about doctors. 
Um, yeah, I think it just discusses five patients, but like fictional patients, um, and how they get treated, I think. Yeah, seemed interesting. Next up, I have Robot Dreams by Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov, of course, is like a famous sci-fi writer. Uh, I think he wrote iRobot. Don't quote me on that. I think so. But yeah, uh, this is a short story collection of his about all things sci-fi. I think it just has a lot of charm. I think it's very well read. Next up, I have a very beautiful old hardcover Charles Dickens. The second part of David Copperfield. It's in Dutch though, so I don't know if I'm gonna read this version or an English version. But doesn't doesn't that look nice on your shelf though? Like that's mostly why I bought it. Next up I have Young Samurai, The Way of the Warrior. This one was also in the in the store that pays per kilo. Uh, so it was really cheap. And I don't know. I thought the hardcover looked pretty okay. Next one, Nicholas Evans. Um, I think the English style is Spring Smoke. Smoke Jumper, okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, I never read Nicholas Evans. He's the, the author of oh. Horse Whisper. But I think the cover looks gorgeous. So I bought it. Here I have, I found these children books actually, Charles Dickens, David Copperfield, Jill Verne, uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, Seven Sherlock Holmes Stories, and Gilbert's Travels. Uh, these were, what were they? They were one euro each, and some one, one euro and a half, if you don't believe me. Um, I bought these because I was looking for books I could read to my little brother. I have a brother of around seven years old. So uh, I think these are pretty good ones. Uh, these are like, I have a couple very old books because I really like old books. I, I think they have a lot of charm. So this one is, um, what's this actually? This is like, sort of presentation of uh, the writer Henry Conscience, which is a Belgian writer. And uh, if he wrote a, a classic, I don't know if you know it, but um, title in English, like The Lion of Flanders, sort of. Um, I don't know if it's well known or not, but here in Belgium it's pretty big. But so th this is a, a little book of 1939. And I think it has a lot of charm, so. And yeah, again, this weighs like 80 grams, maybe, so it's like 8 cents. Dirt cheap. This one, Ernest Klaas, Kiki, another Belgian writer. Look how old it is. I mean, it's this one particularly, it's not a first edition or something like that, but. Uh, hang on. 1925. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's yeah, it's not perfect condition, but what do you expect from a book that's almost 100 years old? Next up, I have Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe, very well known, of course. Also an old edition. This one is from 1950, so not that old, but pretty old. Next up, I have a version of Moby Dick by Herman Melville. If you don't know about this book, yeah, I'm not gonna exp explain it. Uh, this is a version of, let me see, also has very pretty drawings. Okay, there's no, no year in this. But I imagine it's pretty old, right? It looks old anyway. Uh, I'm not going to read, I, I really want to read Moby Dick at some point. I'm not going to read this version because it's like an old version of the language Dutch. And I think it's the, the book is difficult enough just as it is. So 
I'm gonna buy a modern version. Um, Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, Glass, Cross Glass, by Lewis Carroll, of course. Uh, this one is on my TBR, has been on my TBR list for quite a while now. So yeah, and I I pay this a dollar, uh, a euro, a dollar. I found four comics or mangas or whatever they are from Avatar The Last Airbender for 35 cents a piece. Uh, they, these are just uh, the comics from the TV show, so I don't know. I, I think I'd, I'd rather watch a TV show, but I'm a real, I'm a big fan of it. So I thought for 35 cents a piece, I'm gonna steal them. Well, not steal them, pay for them. Next up, I have an H.G. Wells omnibus, which includes The Time Machine, The Invisible Man, and War of the Worlds, and I have. A, a different version of the War on the Worlds, which I really want to read at some point, because I've watched the, the movie as a kid, but uh, yeah, it's been a very long time and I really want to read the book, because I hear it's very good. Next up, it's a chunker of a book, Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six, mm, it's very thick, I don't know if I'm gonna read this, because I don't know if I like the genre, but it's like perfect condition hardcover book which you normally would pay 20 euros for if you paid brand new and this was in the the, the cheap store that pays per kilo so it's pretty heavy so this one was probably around 60 cents <laughs> next one a really good find I think in the in a thrift store Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey this, this one is actually really high on my TVR. I hear it's very good. There's a TV, sh there's a TV show on Amazon, I think, uh, called The Expanse. This is all series. I think there are like four or five books already now. And I really want to get to it soon. Next up, I have Goliath by Steve Alton. I actually don't know what this is about. It's about, yeah, it's about uh, a submarine that gets held hostage, but it's a nuclear submarine. So I guess like the movie Das Boot, no? I don't know, I never saw it. But yeah, it, the cover looked cool and it was cheap again. So I'm not gonna, I'm repeating myself. Next up, Michael Crichton, State of Fear, another hardcover. In really good addition, uh, condition, and I paid like a euro. So I heard though that that that's not his best work. Um, next up, the Ab the Abominable by Dan Simmons. Uh, I bought this because I looked it because uh, fucking hell, I bought this. I'm doing so well, cheese. Next up is the Abominable by Dan Simmons. Uh, I bought this because. Stephen King wrote, like, uh, what's it called, a quote, um, in, in which he's, he says he likes it, and it's about a storm on, on Mount Everest, and I like that kind of movie, so I thought maybe I like some books like that as well. Next up, a uh, mass market edition from American Gods by Neil Gaiman, very well known. There's a TV show. Next up, Haruki Murakami. Blind Willow, Sleeping Women, Woman, Woman. Uh, this is a short, sh mm, a short story collection of Haruki Murakami, a famous Japanese author. Next up, Jan Martel, Life of Pi. I've seen the movie and I've been wanting to read the book ever since I saw the movie, but I've been putting it off because I saw the movie. Are you still following what I'm saying? So yeah, I was really happy. I've I found it in English because I, I own it in uh, Dutch, but it didn't spoke to me because I read the first chapter or something that it doesn't connect to me, which is weird probably because it's my native language, but yeah, so I'm happy with that. Next up, also by Jan Martel, uh, The High Mountains of Portugal. Don't really know what it's about. I hope it's like someone who lives in the high mountains of Portugal, which is cool because I lived in Portugal for a while, so 
that's also a reason why I bought it and also because it's the same author of Life of Pi. Next up, The Circle by Dave Eggers, which, which is a sci-fi thriller, I think, about like social media stuff and how they uh, keep track of your life or something like that. There's also a movie with Tom Hanks and Emma Watson. Didn't, haven't seen it. Next up, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer? Four? I think so. Um, I, I've seen the movie with Tom Hanks and I cried during the movie so I only imagine what it's like in the book. I also like the cover of it. So this one's pretty high on the TBR as well. I want to wait a bit because I just recently seen the movie. I have room now. Uh, next up, Mark Haddon, The the Red House. Uh, I bought it because the cover looked nice and he wrote another another book. Where, where is it? It's, what's something with the dog? Mm, the curious, the, he wrote another book, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. And I also really want to get that book because it's with a dog. Uh, next up, I have some Stephen King books. A lot of Stephen King books actually. Are you ready? I'm gonna get through them really quick because it's a lot. Uh, first one, Stephen King, Cell, in like a weird paperback version. Then Dutch books, which I prefer not to buy, but these were like, how is it? Like this. Desperation and the Regulator by Stephen King and Richard Bachman, or as we know him, Stephen King. They're like, they fit together, so I had to buy them. So yeah, I'm probably still gonna, going to buy the English version. Because with King especially, he has a way of writing and you shouldn't read the translation if you know in, if you can read in English anyway. Next up, a uh, hardcover, Stephen King. I own, uh, it, which is Black House, he wrote it with um, Peter Straub, which is, and this is a sequel to... No. The Talisman, which he also co-wrote with Peter Strauss. I haven't read either of them. I really want to because he said in like um, a presentation that he's planning on writing a third one. So I really want to get those. And I also want to get as much hardcovers of Stephen King as I possibly can. And I got this one used, which is rare, even especially in English here, because not that many people buy books in English apparently. Next one, The Da Vinci Code, an illustrated edition. This one is really heavy. It's like glossy paper and has pictures in it, of course, because it's an illustrated edition. Was that, was that a good presentation of the book? Probably not. The dust cover is in shitty condition, but yeah, it's okay. Oh yeah, that's also pretty awesome. Yeah, that wasn't the Stephen King though, I have more. Hang on, sorry. Everything's eventual, mass market. These are all mass market, uh, by the way, the next ones. Uh, this is a st short story collection, I think. Yep, short stories. Bag of Bones, novel. Pretty long one, I think. 700 pages. The first Dark Tower, The Gunslinger. I don't like this cover. I have a... I like this cover more. But yeah, it's in Dutch, so... When I saw this, I, I was like, okay, I have a beautiful, beautiful cover, but I'll read this one. Anyway, next up, uh, Blaze, which he wrote as Richard Bachman, the pseudonym. Just After Sunset. I think it's also a short story. And I'm talking. <laughs> that was that I'm sorry. No, this, this is just a novel, I think, yeah, yeah. 
The Eyes of the Dragon, which is a fantasy novel. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I hear about this book, you either love it or hate it. And I think I'm gonna love it. Because it's uh, about a girl who gets lost in the woods and then some creepy stuff happens. And she thinks about a baseball player named Tom Gordon. For some reason. Uh, Doctor Sleep, sequel to The Shining of course. I've read The Shining, haven't read this one, really want to. Full Dark No Stars, uh, another short story collection, more recent one. Uh, that was it for the used Stephen Kings, I have some new ones but they're for later. Next up, I have bought some books written by Jeremy Clarkson. The presenter of uh, Grand Tour, of course. This one, these two I got from my um, grandmother, which is uh, a poet, Willem Elscott, and these are collected works of his. Ooh. Very heavy. Next one, Through the Looking Glass, no, uh, sorry, Through the Language Glass, yeah, and Why the World Looks Different in Other Languages by Guy Deutscher. I thought the, the title was very interesting, so that's why I bought it. And it's also an interesting subject. Next one, Bill Gates, uh, the, what's, the Road in Front of Us in English. I know I like Bill Gates, so. And this one was in the Kilo store. Barack Obama, The Audacity of Hope, I, which I think is a, a very interesting one. I have no idea though, but he's an interesting man, so. Uh, yeah, also in the Kilo store. Next up, the first one in Divergent series, which I never read. I, I own it in Dutch, but uh, yeah, again. This video is a lot of me repeating myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm also not looking directly into the camera, it's, I just realized. Sorry about that. I have just so many books to look at right now, so. Then Allegiant or Ella Giant? I never knew. I think Allegiant, uh, which is, I think, the final. Yeah. Or the second one. One of the two. In hardcover. Uh, this one also looks good. I don't know if the series is good for an adult or is it like very, very targeted at youth. I don't know. Next one. Uh, Chung Kuo. Kuo. Book one, The Middle Kingdom, by David Wingrove, which is like a fantasy, but in the future, in China, right? Yeah. Um, Chinese culture interests me, so that's why I bought it. And fi fantasy in China look, sounds cool, doesn't it? Next up, a little known book <laughs> called... The Game of Thrones, the first one in the Song of Ice and Fire, by George R. R. Martin, of course. I never read this, and I probably won't very soon, because I'm only just getting into sci-fi uh, sci fantasy, and I think this one is not the best place to start with, because it's so dense and long. 20,000 20, Leagues Under the Sea, by Jules Verne. Yeah, that's very well known. Agatha Christie's Ten Little Indians, or also known as And Then There Were None. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what the, why, it's, why it has different titles, actually. But I want to read some Agatha Christie very soon, so I was happy with that. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, which I haven't read but really want to. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. No introduction needed. Uh, Shorter Than Short, which is a collection of like a lot of very short short stories. Most of them are like one, two or three pages. I don't know, it just might, might be a good read every once in a while. Here's the, the author I talked about in the old, from the old book, Henry Conscience, with The Lion of Flanders. This one looks looks pretty. Uh, Chinese Legends, in a collection of 
stories or legends from China. It's also very old, this one. It's from 1934. Well, it's not very old, but... Um, what else? Oh, yeah. I have The Art of Superman Returns, which I paid, I think, two fifty for, which is, like, just a book with, yeah, like the title says, The Art of Superman Returns, which looks cool, I think. I haven't seen the movie action, but uh, I like I like uh, I like DC comics. Not like super. Yeah. This fucking chunkers. I have two from like I think it's a series, and um, the it's the life of the animal kingdom, and it, this one's about behavior. And this one's about um, uh, development and origin. Like, yeah, I think origin. Uh, I studied for a vet. Uh, so yeah, this stuff interests me. And they look very, very good on a shelf. So I hope I find more of these. Because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Those were all the used ones. My back hurts. Jesus Christ. Um, so, well, let's just get straight to the new ones, alright? Um, yeah, again, no real order, I'm just picking what's on top. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Didn't quite enjoy that that much. Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. Uh, I really like this one though. Um, holy shit. Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. Really like this one. It's about a boy who gets cursed and then tries to escape his destiny and so on. The Lost Wish by and and Andrei Sapowski. I'm sorry, Polish people. Yeah, it's the first one in the Witcher series. Didn't really enjoy it that much. I'm sorry, Witcher fans. Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird. Really want to read this one because it's a very well received classic. Then the two bestsellers of um, Yuval Noah Harari, Homo Sapiens and Homo Deus. Really want to read those as well at some point. So many books little time then I have some of the penguin classic small black books little black classics they're called they're like 80 cents on, on Amazon brand new I have Tolstoy how much land does a man need which is a short story Edgar Allan Poe the telltale heart and two other stories Friedrich Nietzsche aphorisms on love and hate which is philosophy and Plato, Socrates, Defense. Also philosophy, of course. I also bought Plato, the Republic, uh, which is one of, I, I think, I think it's um, PewDiePie's favorite book of all time, or at least the non, uh, of nonfiction. The Tao of Pooh and the Tale of Piglet collection uh, by Benjamin Hoff. I talked about the Tao of Pooh uh, in another video. I really, really recommend it every, to everyone, actually. I haven't read Tale of Piglet, but I just expect it as good as uh, the Tao of Pooh. Mm. Stephen Hawking, A Brief History of Time, which I really want to read as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Uh, then I have some uh, Wordsworth classics. Call of the Wild and White Fang by Jack London. These I paid brand new between one or two euros uh, on Amazon. So the covers aren't always that beautiful and uh, the quality isn't the greatest, but like for two euros brand new, I think it's a good deal. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. The Essential Kafka. Those are, uh, these are, I think all the, well, the most important books by Franz Kafka, which includes The Trial, The Castle, Metamorphosis, Letter to My Father, and other stories. 
Thin or very floppy, which I really like. Don Quixote by Cervantes. Yeah, these are all classic, they don't need an introduction, I think. Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. These are very long though, so I don't know when, I, when I'll read them. I want to read one of the longer ones by the end of the read, by the end of the year. And finally, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Well, I said finally, but it was finally for the Words for Classics. Next up, I have... Mm, which one shall I do for, uh, first? This is the most recent pickup, which is also <laughs> the next one I'm going to read. Well, the first one anyway, the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, I haven't even opened it yet, which is why I brought my knife. Unboxing channel, let's unboxing books. So it is the complete trilogy of the Mistborn series. Uh, Which I think is a good place to start with for Brandon Sanderson. I hear them anyway. And aren't those covers absolutely gorgeous? This is the first one, The Final Empire. The Well of Ascension. And the third one, The Hero of Ages. So yeah, I'm currently reading It by Stephen King, but after that I, wanna, I want to start The Final Empire. Yeah, I also don't always have like, I have a TBR, of course, but I don't have like, I don't stick to it that often. Sometimes I just find out about the book and then I want to start reading that one and it's not like I um, I can't read it, I can't read it yet because I have to read all those other ones. I just, yeah, it's just, it's flexible for me. So yeah. Next up, some Stephen King. Stephen King's The Shining, very very well known and very very good. Then some hardcovers, I bought them on sale, like I think 12 euro. Uh, the Outsider, which has also uh, a series on HBO with uh, Jason Bateman, whom, 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 whom I really like. Uh, Stephen King, The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, another short story, very well good, uh, very well good. A very good one. Uh, yeah, I really like that. And one of my favorite book covers of all time, The Institute. I think this is a European cover because in the um, States it's a different one. It's like a purple one with a train, I think. But I like this one better. Uh, I think it looks, it looks, it looks very good. It's um, his most recent novel. If it bleaches, his most recent book, but those are short stories. That's his most recent novel. Then, what I'm reading now, Stephen King. Got this one for my birthday. Um, I'm not in halfway there, so uh, I still have a long way to go, but I'm really, really enjoying it so far. And I'm also reading this at the moment, which is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. I'm near the end. It's very good, and I recommend it to everyone who enjoys reading philosophy. That was it. Those were all the books. I bought this one as well, maybe, the Funko Pop. I think that's it. Yeah, I might have missed some books, but yeah, that's not that important. I think this was enough. That was the whole book haul. I hope you stayed watching until the very ending. It was also the first ever book haul I recorded. I don't know if I did it okay. I probably didn't go into the books that deeply, but that's just because there was a lot of them and I don't want a video of uh, 45 minutes because I have to watch through it myself again to edit it. <laughs> so, and I don't like watching myself on tape. If you know any of the books I mentioned and you think they're a great recommendation, let me know. If you have other recommendations which I should add to my shelf because I have a lot of room actually, which it might, it might not seem that way, but I, but I, I actually do. 
uh, because I don't hold that much. So if you have other recommendations, let me know as well. Oh, uh, maybe if you stay this long, leave um, leave something in the comments for what? Oh, uh, leave an uh, an emoji of a clown. I think there is one uh, inspired by it. So yeah, if you stay this long, leave an emoji of a clown down in the comments. And I think that will be it. Thank you for watching. And that was it, I think. And that was it for me. And that was it for today. Hmm. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll succeed. <laughs> so that was it for me. So that was it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.